Welcome back to Algo Trading Series using PineScript and Trading View from Market Secrets. In the last episode, we talked about why we should use PineScript for Algo Trading. And in this episode, we are going to talk about why we shouldn't be using PineScript for Algo Trading. So what are its disadvantages? That's our topic for discussion today. Before we get started, Market Secrets is proud to announce the launch of Algo Traders program, ATP, where we will train people to create and deploy an Algo Trading bot with an end-to-end -end setup. So if you're someone who wants to take up Algo Trading, it will be a perfect place for you to start. I'll leave the link to the details of the program in the description section of this video. And with that note, let's jump into today's session. So the main reason why you wouldn't want to use PineScript uh, for your algo trading is that you're limited to trading your universe. So your learnings, your scripts, everything will be limited to the trading view universe. So if there is something that you can't do with trading view universe, there is no other alternative. So if you use uh, some common languages like Python, then uh, in that case, right, you will be able to, you know, accomplish almost everything. But, uh, you know, if you go with um, uh, the Pine script, uh, you will have to stick to whatever the limitations that, uh, you know, the trading view has. So let's talk about some of those uh, limitations number one data if trading view does not offer the data uh, that you want then you are out of luck for example right option trading contact data for Indian markets trading view doesn't provide uh, the data at this moment at least so even though trading view has a very comprehensive database it doesn't provide you with all the data so if you are someone who wants to do algo trading and option contracts in Indian markets then you are out of luck Likewise, if your strategy involves trading obscure markets, price data may not be available. This extends outside the price data as well. There are some strategies that involve economic or statistical data. Even though TradingView offers some data in this category, but it is limited as well. So if you are using alternative data in your strategy, it's probably easier to use another programming language that offers flexibility. So that's the first limitation, which is nothing but your data and uh, the data feeds. Number two is the external libraries. PineScript is not appropriate if you are looking to leverage external libraries to do things like, uh, you know, something like machine learning or artificial intelligence. If you go for some other alternative language like Python, right? So there are a lot of, uh, you know, external libraries uh, that's available and you can just use it readily, but that's not possible with uh, TradingView. So if your strategy is something that relies on data science or, you know, machine learning or artificial intelligence or any other third party li libraries, right? It's better to look for some other alternatives that we can go with. So that's the second disadvantage, which is nothing but your external libraries. And when it comes to limitations, I think that is it. These are the limitations that I have encountered so far uh, in my algo trading uh, career. Do you know any other disadvantages or advantages of using uh, TradingView? If you do, let us know in the comment section. And when it comes to alternatives, right? Uh, so Ninja Trader and Meta Trader are commonly used alternatives, but I haven't used those personally, so I can't comment on that. Uh, the other choice would be Python. Uh, that is something that I personally use uh, as of today. So from my opinion, Python is a much better choice uh, when you compare it with uh, PineScript. But it all depends on what exactly you want. So everyone's requirement is different. So if your requirement can be satisfied with uh, a particular language or particular type of script, then you can definitely go out with that. And with that, I'm closing today's session. If you have any queries, comments, or feedback about this episode, leave it down in the comment section. I'll be happy to address it. Also hit the like button if you have liked this video and share it with your friends if you find it useful. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video or conduct a live session. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.